am on day 1453. Welcome to another daily vlog. I'm Dr. Erica and I have lost and kept off 60 pounds for over three years through intermittent fasting and also through exercise. I also like to help encourage and motivate you while you're on your journey. If that sounds like something you're interested in, sis, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the family. I promise you'll love it here. Today is Thursday, July 4th, and I am ready to have an amazing day. Day. Today, I am on day 1453. 1453 days in a row of me, your girl, showing up for herself every single day because, see, I made myself a priority. I am definitely important, and self care is not selfish, it's actually necessary. So, are you looking for an accountability partner, girl? That's why I'm here. Not only do I show up for myself every day, I show up for you as well. You know, making these daily logs. See, one thing about it, I'm going to hype you up. I'm going to gas you up. I will be your biggest cheerleader, making you believe and realize you can do anything you put your mind to because you can. So I know, I know it's someone out there who is ready to start their health and wellness journey. So if I'm talking to you, I need you to do one thing. Because see, not only am I the queen of consistency, clearly, I'm on day 1453 days in a row. 1453, now let that sink in. That's consistency, well at least I think so. But I'm also the queen of walking in place. Yes, walking in place, that's been my number one cheat code for so many years. So go ahead and stand up, wherever you are, stand up right now. Start walking in place. Watch this entire vlog and guess what? Your workout, your exercise, your activity, or your movement for day one is done. Pat yourself on the back. Congratulations on making today, this day, your day one. You know, the start of your health and wellness journey. Now listen, you just got to keep going. We're going to start today and keep going. Start showing up and showing out because that's what we do over here. Shining bright like a diamond. It's time to elevate. It's time to level up your life. We are transforming ourselves into the best versions of ourselves. Like I said before, you are important. So make yourself a priority. Self-care is not selfish. Self-care is actually necessary. And you definitely deserve it. In fact, you deserve the world and so much more. So make yourself a priority. Make a promise to yourself and never, ever break it. You deserve it. Do it for you this time. That's what I did, and that's when I began to see the results. Now it's time for me to head downstairs and get my workout in. Y'all, come on, day 1453. Let's go.
1453. 1453 days in a row. Wow. Girl, listen, it's a consistency for me. And Lord God, I thank you. So I just got done working out. And as always, it was a good one, girl. But you already know that. And you know I'm going to come on here and say it every single day. Because who would ever say they had a bad workout? Okay, not me. I just thank God for the opportunity to be able to move my body. I know we're coming from a different place, okay? You know, I thought, why not? Girl, we're off work today. Let me just spend a little time, you know, like in our little cozy screen and dick. So first things first, though, right now, we need to hear from one person. All of our day wanners, sound off in the comments, girl. Make yourself known if you have finally made the decision to make yourself a priority. I will continue to say you are important and self-care is not selfish. For me, this right here, this is a part of self-care. My health is my wealth. So we are here to hype you up. We are here to gas you up. We are here to cheer you on. So all of our day wanners, let us know in the comments. See, uh, girl, I, we, we just want to encourage you today, okay? We want to start today and just keep on going. Start showing up and showing out for yourself, girl. That's what it's all about. So once again, day one is let us know in the comments. Now, for all of our OGs, you already know what time it is for you. We need to know what time you're working out, what kind of workout you're doing, how long you're going to work out for, what are you watching, what are you listening to, because you know we like to stay entertained while we're working out. It just seems to make the time Time will go by really fast well at least for me it makes working out seem more effortless okay so yeah let us know what you're watching girl just tell us anything there is to know about your workout because that's what accountability partners do and that's exactly what we are so just in case you didn't know when you click that subscribe button and if you haven't already what are you waiting on click the subscribe button right now and join this fit fasting family but when you click that subscribe button we are uh, locked we will forever be showing up for each other. I am your accountability partner. Uh-huh. I am your consistency best friend. Girl, I am on day 1453. Do I look like I can be your uh, accountability partner, your consistency best friend? Because see, one thing about it, I'm going to show up for myself every day, okay? And I would love for you to join in on the fun. So let me go ahead and tell you about what I have going on. So right now, girl, we are on this terrific Thursday, okay? But you already know, I've mentioned earlier it is the 4th of July which is a holiday here in the states so you know your girl does not have work today so I did sleep in just a little bit this morning girl I did not get up till five o'clock I know I know that's still early okay but it's you know girl I've been on my 345 you know routine for the past few weeks so I was able to sleep in and it did feel good so I started out my morning by doing my usual my devotion my prayer and giving thanks Lord God I thank you I cannot thank you even enough for another day. Dear God, I know today will be amazing. I just look forward to you just showing me how great it will be. Lord God, I thank you. I love you. Amen. So I continue on with my devotion, which can be found on the Bible app, okay, just in case you want to follow along with you, girl. So then, of course, I had to get up, okay, got myself together. I did say good morning to my best friends on the steps, and then we headed on down to get the workout in. So I started out by doing a lot of stretching, okay, as always, got, girl, you got to get your stretch on okay before you start any workout okay at least that's what i do then i got on my treadmill girl i did a five minute walk for my cardio girl it felt good you know to do like a little longer you know walk this morning because i had the time you know so got my cardio in and then i got off i got into my resistance training which was my, my um kettlebell swings so i did 50 of them i split those up in five sets of 10 and then i got into my little cool down and stretch so what was i watching girl remember yesterday I told you about the Doritos, how they loaded new episodes. So I was back on um, the Doritos on today. So that was my entertainment. But when I tell you, girl, I feel so good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Of, of course I do. We have so many things that, girl, we can be grateful for and thankful for. So because of that, right now, drop three things, sis, right now that you are grateful for, okay? I will continue to say every single day when you can stay in the attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude Girl, that's when you will be blessed, girl, just exponentially. When I tell you that's when you begin to see the overflow, just the abundance. You, you begin to see the beauty in all things. When you 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 just are grateful for what you already have. So three things right now. Not only 
only that, let us know one way in which you plan on making the world a better place today because it starts with me and it starts with you. Some random act of kindness, okay? Girl, make that phone call. Um, open up the door for somebody. Buy somebody's lunch. Girl, just be kind. kind girl, kindness is free, okay? Bless the world with that beautiful smile because it is beautiful, okay? And you just never do know how your smile may be changing somebody's mood and changing up their day. So, girl, just smile often and smile big, okay? So, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to have going on today. Girl, listen, I'm just so happy not to be in the office, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and, um, you know, start moving around the house some. You know, I had to go ahead and end the workout because your nephew was already requesting breakfast. So, I'm, in a moment, I'll go in there to start his breakfast. Um, now, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing for the first part of the day, but, girl, we could meet up with the big family the big big family a little later on um you know that's just what we uh, a family tradition so we have that going on of course we're drinking our water together we're fasting together i'm just so happy i have my best friend you know following me along today just girl just to see whatever we may get into okay because that's what best friends do we're just gonna be checking in on each other girl just all the things so anyway um go ahead let me know about your workout i'm about to go ahead head inside um i think i'm gonna go ahead make a couple of my black coffee okay of course start drinking on my water make brainless breakfast okay and then i guess i'll just be catching up with you really soon Hey girl, hey my beautiful, gorgeous best friend. It is time for our midday check-in. And you already know this is one of my favorite times of the day where we can just check in, you know, catch up, see how each other is doing. So yes, we're best friends, but we're also accountability partners. So let's go ahead and talk about the things we talk about every single day. Let's go ahead and talk about your water, your steps, and your fast. So how are you doing with your water? Are you on track to reach that water goal? I know it's a holiday here in the States, but we still got to stay hydrated okay so this is your daily reminder go ahead take a couple of sips right now once again we want to stay hydrated girl we want the weight loss we want the glowing skin we want all the benefits of water okay so go ahead and drink up then how are you doing with your steps or your workout you know are you on track to reach that goal today i hope so especially if you are participating in our defy july challenge which i know the majority of you watching are so let's go ahead stand up start walking in place make a path around the home you know i'm telling you five minutes here ten minutes there those steps will really add up and then also add it with that on your resistance training if you need to drop it girl drop it like it's hot okay go ahead get like 10 15 squats in okay get some wall push-ups in every little bit helps you i promise the little things will get you the big results and then how are you doing with your fast you know let us know how many hours are you fasting on today you know if you're fasting so are you doing six 16 hours, 18 hours, 20 hours. Are you on your oh man, oh man, oh man? Or are you team ADF? Are you on a fruit fast, juice fast? Are you counting calories? Are you Weight Watchers? Let us know, you know, and then if and when you do break your fast, let us know what you're about to be eating. You just never do know who may be getting their next meal idea from what you are eating. We are all here for inspiration. We share over here. We are family. Just because there's no gatekeeping, okay? Girl, drop the recipes below. Just all the things, okay? And then last but definitely not least, mental health checking. How are you doing today? Really, no. How are you doing? Let us know how the weather is where you are. Um, you know, how is your mood? How is your stress? How is your energy? I will continue to say we pray, we let go and let God with the understanding and belief that girl, whatever the situation um, is, it's already worked itself out in your favor. So dry those tears. Okay. No more sleepless nights. We are claiming right now that all is well. I'm standing on it with you. So drop the prayer request below if you need to to even if it's not for you if it's for someone else once again i don't play by child okay we pray over here so just tell us anything there is to know about your morning and how your day is going let me go ahead and tell you about what I have going on. So as far as my water, I had 20 ounces, um, you know, as soon as I got done working out. And then I'm really doing really good, okay? So actually, I brought out my big boy this morning. So I'm carrying around my 50-ounce water jug. So I'm doing really good. Actually, I am about halfway done with it. So really, really good with my water um, as of right now. So as far as my steps, I'm over 15,000 steps. I know, girl, I've been walking around the house, okay? Not necessarily in 
intentional walking, but just doing little things here and there around the house, okay? So we'll see here in a minute if I can get like another intentional walk in. And then as far as my fast, so right now it is almost one o'clock, which means I'm almost 17 hours fasted and I'm feeling pretty good right now, but I must say I do not think today will be an OMAD day. At what point I'll break my fast, not really sure, maybe in the next hour or two, but of course I'll just be on to show you what time and then also what I will be eating for today. And then mood mental health check-in sis i'm doing so good over here as you can see the sun is shining bright once again no work today i've just been enjoying just taking care of things you know around the house and i look forward to the rest of the festivities that we have planned for the rest of the day so what have I been doing? You know, what you know, what have I been doing? So of course the last time we talked, I had just got done working out, okay? So came on upstairs and the girl, the first thing I had to do is go ahead and get your nephew situated because I don't think he was gonna let me do a thing before then, okay? So I made one of his favorite breakfasts, his little waffle, and his um scrambled eggs, okay? Along with that, started drinking my water. So then after that, I came on inside, I got myself ready, okay, and just kind of threw on like a little comfortable outfit, like a little lounge set, okay? Because we weren't ready to get, you know, cute, cute, you know, with the outfit for the day, okay? So then I practiced my Spanish. I went ahead and edited the vlog that has to go up for tomorrow. Just kind of keeping with my routine, the usual things. But then it was time to go ahead and get dressed, okay, for the day. So did that and then also went ahead and took care of my nails. So, you know, girl, just like a really just slow, easy morning, okay? I have also started prepping some of my food that I do want to take later on. But as I was sitting here thinking, and I'm just like, what am I going to, you know, share with my best friends on today? Now, I have made it very clear, like, how July is a very special special month for me for several reasons, okay? You know, the one that I talk about often nowadays is how, you know, July 13th, 2020, you know, my life forever changed, you know, because it kickstarted this whole, you know, health and wellness journey where I made the promise that this would be the last time that, you know, I went on this journey. And here we are now almost four years up the road. But you say July, why July? Okay, so I remember back in the day, you know, it just kind of, 4th of July in particular has brought back, you know, memories for me. I remember as a little girl, you know, when my grandfather, my paternal grandfather, we had, he had like land and, um, you know, he would pitch tents, okay, for all the grandkids, you know, and we would sleep in tents the night before. And on the 4th of July, of course, we had all the family over the barbecues. We would do talent shows, girl, just all the things, okay? So a lot of memories there. So of course, now we're all grown and everything. And we oftentimes still do talk about, you know, how when we were children, you know, those events. Another special thing that, you know, I look back on as far as the 4th of July, actually, this was my holiday to host. So I actually would host the 4th of July, having all family over. I did that from 2009 all the way to 2016. I know when I tell you would have a house full of people, about 50, if you will, not only like my um, siblings, spouses, grandchildren, it would be my mom and her siblings and spouses, all of my first cousins, not only that my my grandmother who has since passed away but my grandmother and even some of her siblings and we when I tell you girl about 50 60 70 people would be at my home and you know when I tell you, girl, we did it big. Y'all already know how much family means to me. So what happened was, what had happened was, the reason why, you know, um, I no longer host, you know, my cousin who actually does currently um, host right now, my cousin and his wife actually purchased a home back in 2016. And she asked me, hey, you know, cause we just purchased this home and we want to have everybody over. Would you mind if I actually take, you know, the 4th of July? And at that point, girl, Braylon was a little baby. Well, I mean, he was what a year and a half at that point. And I was thinking, oh, be my guest. And they have kind of just kind of taken over that holiday since then. And it's funny, I'm talking about, you know, my um, cousin's wife. She actually just sent me a text before we just start recording saying, hey, you know, I just wanted to be, you know, asked, is there anything in particular that you would want? I'm getting ready to run back out to the store. I know, you know, you can have your salad. And I just told her, thank you so much for thinking about me. I really do appreciate it. And I just told her I would be good, you know, with a salad, Um, you know, because of course my plan is to bring over, you know, some food that I'll prepare here um, for myself. But I wanted to go back to 2020. Going back to 2020, another memorable 4th of July for me. Believe it or not, girl, I actually fasted 
through the 4th of July, I know. So remember July 13th is when I kind of kick-started this whole streak and this fitness journey and health and wellness journey. But I actually went on an extended fast, you know, days before. And um, I actually fasted through July 4th on 2020. One thing to know about what happened last year on 20, I mean, on July 4th is when I, I remember recording. I remember recording. You know why? Because July 13th, 2023 is my year of YouTube anniversary. So what I was doing, remember back then we were on the weekly vlogs and I remember recording. I was recording the family girl. You will have to go way, way back to my very first YouTube video and you will be able to see those moments that I captured on July the 4th. So anyway, girl, I know I've taken you down memory lane. Okay. So we're going to see what kind of memories that we can create, um, you know, continue to create on today. So listen, girl, I know I didn't just went on and on once again. It's been life going down memory lane, but right now I want you to check in. Okay. I pray you are having the most amazing day so far. Okay. Remember your goals. Okay. Remember. Okay, girl, listen, we're still the find July and um, I'm about to head on inside okay go ahead continue preparing things on uh, whatever I do plan on eating here in the next hour or two along with the food that I plan on you know taking to my cousin's house later on so I guess I'll just be uh, catching up not only to show you how I'll be breaking my fast but girl today is gonna be, be a good day it's gonna be an amazing day okay girl we'll be catching up really soon have had the most amazing day from doing the things I enjoy to eating the foods I love. Go ahead in the comments, tell me one thing that has made your day amazing. Y'all already know what to do. Show your girls some love. Click the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Girl, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!